Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install PHP on your Windows 11 operating system. So let's get started and let's see how we can do it. So first of all, open your favorite browser and search for PHP download. And the first link which will appear here will be from php.net forward slash downloads. So just click on this link. I'm going to put this link in the description of this video also. So you can directly uh, come to this website. If you do just land to the php.net website, then from here you will be able to see the latest release and you will be able to see this downloads tab here. So I'm going to click on the downloads tab and we are in the downloads page. Now on this downloads page, you will be able to see the current stable version. In my case, it's 8.1.2, but you might see some other version in the future. And here you need to click on this option, which says Windows Download, which will redirect you to this web page. So here, when you will scroll down, you will be able to see the non-thread safe version and you will be able to see the thread safe version. I always prefer to download the thread safe version, which is this one. So I'm going to go under thread safe and then I'm going to download the zip file from here and just wait for the zip file to be downloaded. So once this PHP file is downloaded, just go to the folder where it's downloaded. So first of all, we are going to extract this zip file. So I'm going to right click here and then click on extract all. And for now, I'm going to extract this folder in the downloads folder itself. So I'm going to click on extract. And once this folder is extracted, you just need to cut this folder. And generally, I like to place this folder in my C drive. So I'm going to go to my C drive and paste this folder which I have extracted. So once you have copied this folder to your C drive, I'm going to go inside this folder and see which files are there we are interested in this file which is called php.exe file in order to use php on your windows 11 operating system you need to set the environment variable for php right so copy the path where your php.exe file is there right and then click on this search icon and then search for environment variables so when i type environment here you will be able to see uh, this option which says edit the system environment variable just click on this option which is going to open this kind of window right here you need to click on environment variables and then select path environment variable under system variables so just double click on the path environment variable and then create a new environment variable and paste the path of your php folder in which your php.exe file is there, right? So we have copied this folder path from here and here is my php.exe file, right? So same path you need to paste here in the environment variable and then click on OK, click on OK once again and then click on OK once again. Once this path is set, you are ready to use PHP command so let's try to check the version of PHP first of all. So I'm going to open the command prompt. So just type CMD in the search bar and then click on command prompt. And once command prompt is open, you can just uh, check the version of PHP by typing PHP space hyphen V and then press enter. And it's going to show you the version of PHP. So we have installed the PHP version 8.1.2 so it's showing it here so now let's try to create a very simple PHP hello world program and let's see how we can execute that program so for that what I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, create a folder on my desktop so I'm going to right click here and then uh, new folder and I'm going to name it as PHP demo and then press enter so this folder is created, right? So once this folder is created, I'm going to go inside this folder and here I can uh, create a PHP file. On Windows, you can create a PHP file by just right clicking here and then click on new and you need to create a text file first of all. So just uh, type uh, the name of the PHP file, for example, test 
and the extension which will be PHP right and when you press enter here you will be able to see uh, this kind of warning just click on yes which is going to create this test.php file if you don't see the extension here you can uh, click on view and then click on show and you will be able to see uh, this option which says file name extension so just uh, click on it once and you will be able to see this dot php extension once this file is created you can uh, open it with any uh, editor i'm going to use uh, for example visual studio code editor but you can open it with any other editor right so let me open with visual studio code editor and once this file is opened in your editor just type a very simple hello world php program and in order to run this program you need to go to the folder in which your php file is there so i'm going to go to my desktop so on command prompt you can write uh, cd desktop and then i'm going to cd into my php uh, demo folder so cd php demo here i have created my test.php right so when i type php and the name of the file in my case test.php and then press enter it's going to show me the output hello world which is this one i can change this hello world to, to some other text also and then save it and i can run this uh, program once again using php uh, command and you can see my output has been changed right if you are using uh, visual studio code in visual studio code you can open the terminal which is going to open the terminal in the current folder and in here and in here you can directly use the php command in this integrated terminal so let me open the command prompt from here and then i'm going to just type php and then test dot php and it's going to show me the result so i can run the php uh, script from the same uh, terminal inside my visual studio code if you don't know how to install visual studio code i will put the link of the video in the description of this video so you can uh, see how you can install visual studio code on windows 11. so in this way you can install php on your windows 11 operating system i hope you've enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video